Okay, so I need a valve compression tool. I'm too cheap to buy one, so I'm going to try to build one and see how it works out. What I have, these are some old hanger things. I don't know where they came from. But I've taken and cut the ends off. And my plan is to make or weld these to there and then cut that off. That way I have more to weld. And then cut that kind of in half and grind it down to where the valve will kind of go on it and then put it on a hinge and then somehow make it to where it'll do that and compress the valves so this is step one okay when i got to looking at those washers they were huge so i was digging around my scrap pile i found that which is awesome i wish i had more of them because they have the little tabs that'll hold the valve in couldn't find another one but i did find this washer that's kind of cupped so I welded them on there and now what I'm going to do is just cut that off on both of them and then I'll have to cut a groove kind of like that in the middle to where you can get the valve stem in and out and then I got to put it on a hinge and then find some way to be able to control it like a bolt right here that you can raise it up and down. So that's what I got so far. Okay here's after I've made my cut. That cut's not very straight but uh, I'm going to take it over on the grinder and straighten it up a little bit okay uh, this is after I welded the hinge on so it's gonna go down and up like that but now I just need to make a mechanism that will hold it as it goes up and down sorry about that my camera died I had to go back the part that was right here that I thought was perfect for it which it was perfect it just wasn't rigid enough when I tried to compress the valve spring it bent so I'd go back and put uh, just a washer in I think that uh, it shouldn't slip out but I'll test it here in a second and the part that I was talking about right here that would keep the uh, spring compressed you know I said something about putting a bolt right here in a nut and screwing it down well the bad part about that is when you transition angles up through here it just it wouldn't work so now uh, what I did is just I welded a, a nut to the bottom of that and a piece of metal something and what I'm going to just use is a C-clamp. I'm going to grab a valve spring real quick and try to compress it. Okay, here's the way the setup looks. Hope that's in frame. But what you just do is uh, you have your valve spring in there. Hang on a second, it slipped out a little bit here. You slide that to the middle and that to the middle and then you just compress it down. The one thing that I don't like about this design is the top where I rebuilt it. It doesn't have anything to hold the valve spring in but I don't think it's going to go anywhere. So you just set it up in there, you drop your valve down, you put your keeper in, and then you just let it loose, and it has the two slits right here and right here that once you release the valve spring, uh, you can just pull the thing out. And it does fit. You can see uh, nicely up in there. So that's a homemade valve spring compressor. As always, thanks for watching.